Here we are. Oh. Sunglasses on. These are actually Ray Bans. I don't like Ray Bans. Eh. I'll wear it anyway. Uh oh. Whew. Hey, look, this is a Monday. You know what that means? I fast on Mondays. Yes, did you know that? Look, here's the deal. <clears throat> Whatever day of the week you were born, since I was born on a Monday, right? Then you're supposed to fast that day. Every week, day, week in, week out, year after year. And when I say you're supposed to fast, that's because, well, that's what I say. You don't have to listen to me. Why are you listening to me? Every Monday I fast. Now you can do a life fast. Like, in other words, I wake up in the morning, and usually it's nuts, but when you fast, not drinking anything. But I do, well, this morning I had some yogurt and some fruit, too, whatever. Uh, but most of the, all day I drink water. You can you should break break it fast. I guess the next morning, but usually I I don't. What I do is I usually at night about ten o'clock. Then I have a salad. Okay, so I have a salad tonight. You know, you know, and then I listen to Breaking Brown. You know, once you read or something like that. Okay. Hmm. Right now it's just water. I got this water. You say what? Well, but brother, that's not that eight point eight. You know, Himalayan. You know, with the with the electrolytes water. Yeah, because I got this from a cop. Well, a detective. I went out. The last thing I had, to, the last thing I did was a detective that helped my brother for so many, for actually years. Um, out of the way, yeah, I went and visit visit them because I never met them, you know. And one of the guys, uh, he, he had he gave me some water, you know. He had a, uh, what he does. He says it's a frozen water and then whatever hot water. And what he does is, you know, he sips a little, then pours it, whatever, whatever. That's his thing. So I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative of them. So I got to meet them. Nice guys. The detectives, you know. Hey, you're a detective? Unless you're in some sort of corrupt unit, then, you know, plus they got a day at the airport, you know, so they don't have... Here's the thing. If you're a cop and you're just dealing with bad people or so the, 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 the bad people all the time, then that's what you're going to get. Well, say for instance, you're a travel agent. You're going to meet good people all the time. Now, if you're a cop at the airport, then you're going to have to, to mix. See how that works? So they're, they're, they, they might not have as many psychological problems as a bunch of other folks. Anyway, I wish them well. Oh, like that. That was that was good. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, uh, what one thing they did tell me is that you know, uh, I said, well, the things look pretty calm. He said, no, what? He said at night, they, they, somebody was up in Harlem shooting an AK-47 at people, or whatever, ever killing people. So I don't know. What, I don't know what happens when when the sun goes down, whatever. Or maybe they just heard that from someplace. I don't know. I have no evidence. I'm just trying to say, if you are here in New York, which I'm only going to eat for a few more days. I'm not saying don't go out at night. I'm just saying, watch yourself. Do whatever you need to do, but watch yourself. Mm. Mm. What else is happening? Uh, uh, look, that, that's that's really bad. I went and I did a bunch of things. I went and saw my, my I call him my Iman Barber because he's like an Iman, a street Iman, you know, doing sort of stuff. And I met this other guy, um, a Ulysses, uh, who, who spent a lot of years in, in, in Brazil, you know, doing huge concerts and stuff like, you know, like, oh man, we had a great talk. It, it, I only go to say, even when you're in a barbershop in the street, you get great conversation. You know, black men, black men. I'm going with my black man kick, actually, for the next few months. I ain't dealing with that, you know, whatever it is. Okay, so that's it. But one more, one more tiny, tiny, tiny thing. ADOS, I'm, I'm, as I look at this, ever since Antonio Moore did his thing, the other thing, and, and I realized, look, not only is ADOS the answer for everything, but you don't have to deal with anything else. You don't have to get out here risking your lives. Let me just talk to the older people. You know, you want to do something. You know, we got the young people singing, you know, or whatever, they, or whatever they're TikToking and messing people up with that. The, you got the whatever age they think, uh, people, uh, the criminals doing the criminal thing, da, 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 all of this that stuff. Which reminds me, oh, okay, this is the last thing. Okay. One of the problems I had, not the problem, one of the situations I, I realized uh, when I was in South, well, stuck here, not in South Africa, but, you know, down at University of Fort here, it's like every year they have these these uh, um, upheavals, you know, they'd be burning ties, you know, fees, whatever the deal was, right? And uh, my thing is like, when you have a, group, a large group of people and you only have a certain representative going to go talk to the administration, right? I said, well, all these idle people sitting around not doing anything. Why do, do, shouldn't, the, shouldn't the gospel choirs think of some new songs for struggle? Shouldn't, you know, these y'all should be strategizing here for this, how are we going to, what that? But what happens, if you have that many people that's mulling around, there's always going to be, you know, one glib tongue person that turns them off. Somebody says, hey, they got soda over there, whatever it is, or whatever it is. And they'll, they they group a group of people and they will go do some do some bad, right? So 
so my concern with any of this stuff is that one, you know, you have all these different groups, and but you have some groups that that when the, um, the the mob is idle, they will have something for them to do. You see, so in this 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 time this time period, just you know, be careful what you do. You know, you'll be all right though. I insist you'll be all right. I being me, T from the Pattersons taking a chance to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>